Hi, welcome to MTurk Guide. Uh, today we're going to go through um, the second webcast, which is basically uh, getting started still. So at this juncture, you should have been accepted to MTurk or your acceptance is being processed um, or you've submitted information to verify your identity. Um, if you're trying to get ahead just in learning, that's great. Um, but you won't be able to actually log into your account and see some of this stuff that I'm showing you. So for that reason, I do show some screenshots in here just so that you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, if you are in and approved, make sure you sign up for and verify your Amazon payments account if applicable. If you're in the U.S., it's absolutely applicable. Um, again, I've mentioned it in another webcast, but like any job, you need to give your social security number. You need to verify your identity. The reason for this is, um, you know, uh, along with the Patriot Act and a few other um, legislative initiatives, um, tracking money uh, to prevent uh, money being funneled to terrorism is, you know, pretty critical. So that's why they require it. Um, and it is Amazon. You know, you've probably if you've ever ordered anything from them, you pro they probably have your name, address, credit card, um, you know, probably some other information on you. Um, so you can feel pretty uh, secure in, in giving out the information in this case. Um, make sure you have your computer. Uh, I prefer Chrome and I do talk about Chrome a lot. I will make sure to explain how to do um, the same stuff in Firefox, but um, Chrome just tends to be um, what requesters ask for. And so um, if you are able to do Chrome, I suggest that um, in a stable internet connection, you need going to need some time. You'll want to dedicate some time to setting up um, your account and then, you know, reviewing these webcasts. You know, if you want to dive in, I say um, proceed with caution. If you get a rejection early on, it takes you thousands of tasks to uh, get back to sort of baseline. Um, you know, you want to keep a highest approval rating possible so that you're, you're able to um, accept as many tasks as possible and with varying reward amounts. So I know it's, it's exciting and you're probably eager. I would just hold off a little bit. Um, I think I'll probably do another webcast, which just shows you some of the safer hits and how to do them in case you really are you know, chomp, chomp, chomping at the bit to go ahead and forward. But just a fair warning. All right, some of the lingo that you're gonna hear me use, um, and I try to do this on every webcast, but um, a HIT, it's short for an acronym for Human Intelligence Task. It's what Amazon calls each individual task that you'll be performing. The requester you know, is the person you're working for during that HIT. Um, they provide the direction, they accept, they reject. Um, so it's sort of the you know your employer for that moment, that micro moment, if you will. A Q, it's also known as the hits assigned to you. <clears throat> it's where you can store up to 25 hits to do at a later time. Now you ha still have to do them within the timer or else they'll expire and move out of your queue. Um, but and sometimes that sometimes it's less than an hour, but you know typically an hour is, is what I see a lot of. Um, your dashboard is your summary of performance by day, dollar amount. It shows you your accepts, rejects, um, and I'm going to show you through scripts how you can get additional information onto your dashboard. Uh, a bonus, it's a dollar amount awarded to a worker at the discretion of the requester, um, and it's separate from the reward amount. Sometimes you'll see in the title, it'll say, you know, perform this task, bonus available. You know, they'll usually lay out the parameters on which they'll bonus, they'll provide a bonus. I can tell you about a few hit requesters that consistently give bonuses for each and every hit. Um, and this comes in the form of an email separately and it's added to your total uh, compensation. Sometimes the bonuses can, can get up there for good work. Sometimes they're lottery type bonuses. So they're, they're on the gamut. Um, AA is, is auto approval. And that's just essentially um, if a requester hasn't addressed a, a hit, either approved it or rejected it within 30 days, the system will automatically approve it. Um, some requesters can set their auto approval for sooner so that they could say like, okay, if I haven't addressed a hit in three days, it, it gets automatically approved. That's at the discretion of the, the uh, requester. 
And uh, I will show you on the various hits how to see that information. Again, sometimes you do need scripts in order to see that. Your MTurk ID or MID, your worker number, it's on your dashboard in that it not anonymously identifies you to the requester. It's okay for requesters to ask for your MTurk ID. Um, it's, it's you know, the same as giving out your name. Um, you know, it's something that they need in order to compensate you. Um, and qualifications. These are attributes of your account. Um, that prevent or allow you to accept hits. Some of it is cumulative, like your approval rating. Some of it um, qualifications are uh, assigned by requesters. So, you know, if you've done a particular survey for a requester, they may give you a qual to prevent retakes of that survey so that their data is pristine. Um, and we'll discuss all that more, but you'll hear me talk a little bit about qualifications and you should, as we go on, you'll learn more and more about that. Okay. Anatomy of a dashboard. So this is what the dashboard looks like without scripts. I'll show you in another webcast what my dashboard looks like, and it honestly looks very different than this. Um, but really quickly, you'll see up here where it says 781, 656 hits available. That's just telling you what's available. Now, that doesn't mean that that total number is available to you. It means that's the total number of hits in the system. What's available to you will probably be a subset of that due to qualifications um, and, and uh, mainly the qualifications that you have. Um, as you go on, you'll, you'll, there'll be more and more that you qualify for just based on the cumulative of doing hits and getting your numbers up. Um, and you can see where it says introduction dashboards da dashboard is where we are. Um, I've blocked out my key information. Um, so just be aware that your name would be here and your worker ID would be here. And this name, um, that's where this box would be, these two boxes, that's how you identify yourself on your Amazon account. So if you signed up and used your Amazon account that you shop with and your name is Jane Doe, it'll say Jane Doe. If you're not Jane Doe, click here. So um, it's linked to that. So if you want to change it to something that's not your primary name, you can do that um, pretty easily. All right. Um, so earnings to date and your total earnings, the top part, you've got your approved hits and the dollar amount that goes with that, your bonuses and the dollar amount that goes with that, and then your total earnings and the dollar amount that goes with that. This show earnings detail dropdown will show you your earnings by year, um, and that's what you'll need at tax time since Amazon won't be sending you any sort of documentation unless you've made over, I think it's like 20K for the year. So majority of people get their information from here. Um, your earnings available for transfer. It's a specific amount. You can transfer your earnings by hitting that link underneath the dollar amount. Uh, and we'll get to all that in another webcast because it's not as easy as one would think. Um, the next part is your hit status. And this is these are the dates. Um, you can expand by hitting view more. It will show 45 days of data. Um, you've got what you submitted, the number of tasks you submitted a day, how many of those were approved, how many were rejected, how many are still pending, and the earnings related to that. So every single hit will show up in the day you accept it. So if you get a hit that has a timer of three days and you complete it on the third day, it'll show up in your list on the first day. So be aware of that if you ever do have something that spans multiple days because you'll submit and you'll think you lost it and you, and you didn't. It's there. Um, this is all fairly self-explanatory, I think. Um, and then your hit totals down the bottom here is your hits you've submitted. Um, the number that you've submitted, the number approved, the number rejected, and the number pending, and then the rating that goes with this. So you can see that um, I've been doing this about a year, um, and I've in this when I took the screenshot, I had done five fifty-two thousand two hundred twenty-two, um, and of those um, fifty-two thousand and twenty-five had been approved, eleven rejected. I have one hundred and eighty-six pending. That relates to a hundred percent approval rating. Uh, it, it, there's decimal points working in the background here. And so obviously if I have any rejects, I obviously can't be a pristine 100%, but I'm like 99.999, you know, eight, seven, you know, three, whatever. And it's, it's rounding up to a hundred percent. But um, what, when we talk about qualifications, requesters will say you have to have a 99% approval rating. So if I have 99%, if I need 99%, I can do anything 99%, I can do anything 98%, and so on and so forth. If I have a 95% approval rating, 
you know, and something requires a 99% approval rating, I will be locked out of that hit until I'm able to get my approval rating up. So that's why that rating, that qualification is very, very important. Um, there are scripts that let you get that decimal point in the background and, and help you understand how many hits you need to get yourself, you know, to a next level of approval rating. This whole concept is why I encourage you not to dive in too quickly. Um, it's not when you start, it's not a time for trial and error, because in a hypothetical situation, if you do you know, 100 hits and, you know, um, 10 of them are rejected because you didn't understand, you didn't read correctly, you're just you're trying to figure it out, you right then you have a 90 percent approval rating. I mean, that is going to severely limit your ability to pick up hits and then it's going to make that process of getting to higher numbers slower and that's getting to the higher numbers is what opens up more and more um, tasks and hits for you okay so searching and organizing um, in the same if you were in the dashboard and you go to the hits tab um, the hits available to you and the hits assigned to you so we talked about the hits assigned to you being the queue um, there's really nothing exciting there, and that's something we'll address in another webcast, but it's available to you. Um, anywhere where you see these arrows, this is stuff we will talk about in other webcasts or further on down the line. Some of it's script related, and some of it is uh, just another topic entirely. Um, but so in this case, we're going to be, we're in uh, hits available to me. And so out of uh, this 329 individual hits with, you know, they can have a certain amount of number um, of hits available within that that are available to me. So you'll see the title, the requester, um, the time allotted, that's important, your timer. The hit expiration isn't really overly important because once it expires, it just disappears. Um, the reward you can expect and the number of hits available. You could still not access all of those hits because other people might be pulling from it. So just you know, be aware, this is what kind of helps you understand how much work is available, whether you can come back to it or not. Um, and that's also something over time you intuitively learn, you know, certain requesters are just hot, people like them, they gobble them up, other people, other requesters sit for a while. Um, and you'll also learn how to how to vet that process. Okay, um, over here, you know, you could go through the pages, you can change the items per page. And then if you click view hit in this group, um, you'll get into an actual hit and this is the actual hit. So on the previous one, you hit view in this group, we went in. Um, so now you're, um, you can accept it, you could skip it. So if you like looked and you were like, oh God, that, that hypothetically, that um, receipt is completely unreadable. I'm just gonna skip it and go to one I can read. Um, again, any arrows is uh, stuff we'll address at a later time. Um, all the same information is here, except in this case, you have your auto approval and it says three days. So if this is not um, uh, approved or rejected in three days, it'll automatically approve. Here you see in the discussion, there's a hit reward of eight cents for the first 20 items as discussed right here. And then a bonus of one cent per every four items that you do. So that's an example of a bonus structure that's you know per a volume related bonus structure, if you will. Um, so essentially, you'd go ahead and do this hit. I, I, as I said in other webcasts, I'll talk about hits like these specifically. Um, you would scroll down, you'd submit, and you can go on to the next one. So uh, hopefully this gives you an idea. You can go in and look at hits um, without accepting them, which is what I would suggest you do if you're just poking around. Don't accept hits if you don't intend to do them um, unless you're trying to clear a CAPTCHA or something like that. So, And we'll get to that CAPTCHA piece as well. So some important notes of what we discussed. Um, the hits assigned to you or the queue uh, holds 25 hits at a time. If the hit in a queue is not addressed before the timer elapses, it'll expire and disappear from your queue. And then it is added to your um, abandonment rate, which is not a qualification that requesters use often, but they occasionally do. So you should be aware of that. Every approximately 35 hits, you'll need to solve a CAPTCHA in order to accept a hit and move forward. CAPTCHAs similar to ones you've seen all over the internet. Um, there are numbers and letters and you just type them in the box. Um, MTurk will log you out periodically, so refresh your dashboard to prevent logout at hit submission. Sometimes you'll go to hit, submit a hit and it'll say you're logged out and then you need to refresh. It's just, it's a little, it's a little scary in the beginning. So just occasionally refresh and make sure that you're still logged in. 
Um, the MTurk day begins at 3 a.m. Eastern time, so midnight on the Pacific coast. And that's when those days roll over that you saw in the, in the, pla in the dashboard. Uh, the week begins at 3 a.m. Eastern on Sunday morning and then um, in goes to you know, 2.59 a.m. Uh, Sunday morning Eastern um, the next week. And so that's the, the week. Uh, you'll get a weekly worker report and that's what the week is comprised of that Sunday to Saturday, you know, Sunday to Sunday, if you will. And as I said, a requester has 30 days maximum to accept, reject a hit. That's assuming they haven't put another auto um, ex approval uh, number in that, uh, in that field. So in summary, you're going to log in, you're going to check your dashboard for recent approvals and rejections, you're going to navigate to hits available to you, you're going to sort by reward or number of hits, however you want to sort it. Um, you're going to accept a hit, uh, complete the task as instructed, submit it. If you lose a hit, look in the hits assigned to you. You know, it may have expired, but it may be if you accidentally close out your window or something like that, it'll be sitting in the hits assigned to you. And review to ensure hits are accepted. Um, so again, just, you know, make sure that when you've, uh, when you're, uh, you know, as you, I'm sorry, what I meant by this, by this bullet point is if you're not sure of a requester, do a couple, see if they accept it. Don't, you know, don't, we call it hamming, but don't go um, hard on uh, a requester that you don't know anything about. You have know, sample it, do a little bit, see how it goes. Um, so, you know, periodically go back and say, okay, have the ones I've done in the last couple of days accepted and just be monitoring that. And this is something you should do all along the way. So what's left to learn? There's a lot. Um, we really need to go through qualifications on a, on a different level, how you request them, how you take tests for qualifications and why you should be spending part of your time looking for qualifications, why it's important. Profile tasks, what they are, why they're important to do and what the benefit is to you. Your first 10 turking days. The first 10 days are gonna be different for numerous reasons. You're gonna be new, you're gonna be poking around, but there are some system limitations that are out there um, that you should be aware of in your first 10 days. Um, this screen cap here, there are no hits in this group available to you at the moment. Um, you're gonna run into this a lot and you're gonna wonder why, why can't I catch anything? I click and I see nothing. Um, I'll talk to you about what that is and how to, how to get around that um, and how to monitor um, hits in, in, in groups that you're interested in. How to auto accept hits using tools like Panda Crazy and Turk Master. We'll get you set up on all those. Um, pandas, Panthas, requester search is all ways to search and request and uh, search, sorry, search and accept uh, hits. Managing your queue. Again, we talked a little bit about the queue, but, but managing a queue is, is another endeavor entirely. Uh, tools for finding hits, um, hit scraper, hit finder. We'll go through all of that. Uh, captures, uh, what can happen if you don't do your captures right, um, all of that. Scripts, which I think is the most important part of this that isn't obvious if you're not given the information. You know, Amazon does not discuss uh, scripts. They just, they don't. So this is something that other people have put together that um, will help you immensely, but it's not something you're going to know unless you are told it by somebody who's doing it. Um, batch work versus surveys, you know, what the work is like, how you navigate it, how you know, how you identify it. Um, batch work is your, you know, your money opportunity over time. Surveys are kind of your one hit wonders. How you contact requesters, this is very important. You know, not a perfect world. Requesters will accidentally reject at times or you should be getting feedback if you do have rejections. Um, so you're going to need to contact requesters and it's not that obvious in the system how to do that. Setting goals, I'm going to talk in one webcast a little bit about how I set my goals and, um, you know, and how I look at different times of the year, different um, what's going on in Turk to determine what realistic goals are. And setting goals is just plain good. Um, MTurk website changes. There are some changes coming up that MTurk's put out there. They haven't made any major ones yet, but um, I will be keeping up with all those changes and putting out webcasts to address it. So don't fear, but they are coming. So um, I'm not going to pretend that they're not, they are. Uh, so we'll be addressing that as well. And then page refresh errors, which are incredibly annoying, but something that happens and something you should understand um, why they're happening and how you can uh, stop them from happening or prevent them from happening. So you got a lot left to learn is the, is the moral of the story. And I'm here I'm working on these webcasts. So keep following along. Please ask questions. Please comment. Please subscribe, like, and share. 
And I believe that's all I've got on this webcast. So definitely uh, stick with me uh, as much as you can. And uh, I'm here to help. So please, like I said, um, don't hesitate to ask any questions or um, or uh, just post a comment or tell me what you're thinking, what you want to see, any issues you're having with the webcasts. All right. Look forward to the next one. Thanks.